Hey, my name's Lena and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as I'm sure you've seen in the title and the thumbnail of this video, I did get three tattoos last week. So I thought I'd make a little vlog slash video like explaining the tattoos. I don't have too much to say in this intro. I think I'll let the video speak for itself. But yeah, I'll let the little vlog portion roll and then I'll come back to speak about each tattoo separately. It is a little bit chaotic, but honestly, that kind of explains how it felt getting these tattoos, so I hope you enjoy it anyway. So I've just pulled up to the tattoo studio. I'm about to go in and get two more tattoos because why not? Why not? It's one of those weeks. So I'll explain a bit more about each tattoo after I've actually got them. But one of them I've been wanting for ages and one of them was just like, oh, this is cool on a flash sheet. So we're getting that. But yep, yeah, I'm so, so excited. Um, this is the last time this little spot on my arm is going to be bare and free of ink forever and ever. <coughs> Off we go. So those are the little snippets of videos I managed to capture while we were actually getting these tattoos. So I already had one tattoo which I got when I was like fresh 18 and that's this little day by day on my wrist which I love still. And I've been wanting to get more ink for so long and had so many ideas but I never really booked anything in like the booking times for some of the artists on the coast were so long and I just, I don't know, I just never made it happen. So I found Ali, the artist that did all our tattoos on like a sponsor post on Instagram a few months ago and I like followed her page and I kind of didn't really do anything else from there and then a few weeks ago she started posting that she started to tattoo at this new studio really close to my place so naturally I ended up booking in with her I'll make sure to link um Ali and the studio down below as well so originally so originally I booked in for two tattoos which is this little heart and this little plant on my ankle just so that my body felt more balanced and then my best friends that I've had since like primary school from my hometown came up to visit me so we decided it was finally time to get tattoos together because we've been talking about it for years so we ended up impulsively booking those in and that's the tattoo that I got first in the first video so this is the one that I got together it's a little bee with like little diamonds around it um He's very cute, I love him. They're all very much in their like healing scabby stage right now, so they do look a bit gross, but I'm gonna move to the side and insert some photos and stuff up here. So the story behind this little bee is that we were gonna get matching tattoos originally, but I think last minute we decided to change our designs and we were all originally gonna get bees, but we couldn't find one that we all kind of loved, like the same amount. So we decided to kind of get separate little things, as you can see in the little vlog portion and yeah, they're all insects so they all kind of still match and they all have like little like features that kind of bring them together almost. So we stayed up really late like the night before our appointment just like sketching ideas and stuff. It was very impulsive, very last minute. I combined like three or four different bees I saw on Pinterest as well as like some elements from other designs I saw and created my own so I'll put that there. And yeah, Ali did such a great job of bringing it to life and kind of making the design pop a little bit more and... Yeah, I'm really, really happy with it, and I think my friends are really happy with it as well. And yeah, now we all have tattoos together. So the second tattoo that I actually booked in for was, like I said, this little heart. Um, I love it so much as well. You'd hope so. I have actually wanted this tattoo for a little while as well. I do like the, you know, like heart on your sleeve idea that this tattoo means for so many people. But I actually decided to get this one based on an excerpt from the book, The Four Agreements. So I did recently reread this book about a few months ago, and I was kind of reminded about how much this excerpt like really stuck with me when I first read this book. 
I think this was back sometime in high school, so it was a few years ago. So I've popped the excerpt in my little space so you guys can kind of read as you go. Yeah, it definitely is a lot easier to read it than it is to explain it, but basically I think this man approaches this other old man who is deep in meditation and yeah, he kind of notices his beautiful presence and gets drawn to that and asks him how he kind of came about to be like that. Um, the old man tells a story about how his teacher once put a little flame inside his heart and then how the little flame started growing bigger and stronger and he just like had to share it with everything and then eventually he comes back and he puts a little flame in this man's heart so I don't know I thought it was really beautiful and I really like the symbolism behind it. I also really do love the red ink I think it's such an exciting touch it is a bit crusty at the moment but you can see in the photo it's a bit nicer. And then the last tattoo I got was on my ankle, um, I did already show it, but yes, here's what it looked like when it was just done. This one, like I said, was a piece from her flash that I thought was really nice, and that was originally mostly just to balance out my body, because then I would have had two tattoos on this arm and none on the other side, so it would have felt weird. But I'm really, really glad I got that one as well, and I just, I love how it looks, so yeah. So I honestly always thought I would be someone that would only get tattoos that were super meaningful to me but I honestly love all three of these tattoos so so much and I definitely feel so much more myself with them on me and having a bit more ink on my skin. They also just represent this period in my life which is meaningful and beautiful in itself and I think for that reason I wouldn't regret any of the tattoos that I get. I definitely do want to get more tattoos in the future and do have a few ideas that I've had for a while and like placements and stuff but I'm so not in a rush like my body feels balanced with the ink and everything so I wouldn't get anything major anytime soon I don't think at least. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was slightly chaotic, but I hope you enjoyed it. Nonetheless, this was quite a fun video to film because obviously getting tattoos is fun. I think it's going to be a really nice memory for me to look back on when I'm like older and I have like my best friends in this video and everything. So I'm really glad I captured it. I remember watching videos like this before I got my first tattoo and getting really excited about it. So maybe this will help get some of you excited about your tattoos as well. I hope you guys have an amazing day and like and subscribe if you did enjoy my video. Um, I do upload every Thursday now. I'm committing to that. So... I will see you again in another video next week. Bye.